cosmic reunion of these two souls. Their love, a constellation guided by faith's hand. Thank you for being here to join us in celebrating this sacred alignment. Now there'll be a poem by Danya. I, I implore each and every one of you to seize each moment before it's gone. For another day begins at dawn. Fight each fight and run each race. It matters not if you win nor place. Just seize each moment and you'll be blessed and rest assured you've passed the test for he who tries can never ever fail if you allow God to direct the ship you sail. I have a poem for my niece and it was penned just for you and Sam. This is that love. This is that love that comes straight from the heart, direct and correct. No drama, no trauma, no strings, a love that remains tried, tested, and true. All through life's pendulum swings, this is that love. Born when two beautiful minds combine, and with purpose and patience, hearts align. Joined together for a journey ordained and directed by the one supreme divine, recognizing God's blessing, his grace and beneficence. This love we share is peace, a sacred place. Empowered by the guidance provided by our constant faith, anointing our union and that spiritual place. This, this is that love that is timeless and familiar as if we've done this before. It's like deja vu all day long, empowered by the guidance provided by our constant faith, anointing our union in that spiritual place, and yet so much more. True love twists its existence of silk thread of enthrallment. We all want our involvement in that next installment. And this is that love. Deuces. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Before these lovers share their vows, we would like to thank someone very special to our bride, matriarch of our family, Jewel Deal. We thank you for contributing to the love this family shares with all whom we come in contact with. We are so thankful you can bear witness to this ceremony. Aisha, please share your love for Samuel. as if I've loved you again and again, my heart bending to find you in every life I've lived. My soul has known your face in all of its forms. I've been blessed time and time again to know you, to see the light on your face each morning, a face I see in constellations that have told endless stories of us, stories of us in which I'm constantly pulled to where you are. Your love has empowered me, a perfect intention of my deepest wish. I've woven your love with an endless thread into a multicolored tapestry. Our colors melt together as if there was never such variation between them. You are more than I could ever want or have dreamed of. 
I've been blessed time and time again to know you. Again and for always, I promise to love you. I promise to grow and grow old with you. I promise to always try again with you, to give you the best of me and to care for your heart the way you've continuously cared for mine. I honor all that you are and will be and grateful and blessed time and time again to know you. Samuel, share your love with Asia. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> there is a wishing star in your heart that makes possibilities as it fills with love. So I promise to hold you in tranquility and uplift you in divinity. I will defend you righteously and tend to you attentively. Pour my affections over you till you spill over. My golden chalice in the night's tale, my secret knowledge at the top of a mountain, my fountain of vitality. I will always seek you out. I will know you. I will grow more patient and kind and show you all the blessings that have been cultivated inside me. In my eyes, I will never see poverty, illness, or the worst of you. I will merge with you today, and we will never separate. I am immersed in you, in case, in starfire, and burning brightly. A living embodiment of your heart, and I will make our dreams come true. Thank you for showing me the proper way to love, Thank you for showing me the proper way to live. My mind was darkly colored in a canvas, and now you sit inside, painted with all the colors of God. My masterpiece, my peace. I love you forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. The first groomman will lay down the broom. The bride and groom will step in front of the broom. But before they do that, um, I'm going to give a Yoruba blessing. words to bless the ring. Um, basically, I'm going to be calling on God the Creator, God the Parent, and God the Partner, and your ancestors to bless your path and guide you forward. May your path always be blessed. Yes, now again, their husband and wife. <laughs> and you can right. kiss her again. Yes. Now, the jumping of the broom is to honor the ancestors that didn't get the chance to do this. 